the two school of futurists and i'm like kind of confused hey no it was me i just thought i'll come speak for a second but i'm actually yeah. going to run but just uh who's here i think i see nechal and michelle nechal and michelle are down neha's going to be late um just texting the other ones yeah yeah cool very excited to see all of you pitch you guys um and i'm glad that sangu's here to share like his knowledge <laughs> with the rest of you it should be a really yeah. awesome uh expo great i'll see you guys soon um thank it can just call me in if you need anything yeah i didn't know okay um yeah. that's fine <laughs> I just I saw this opening last night. Okay, we can wait for like a Vishi to arrive as well and shake. But uh, I think like Sangu, why don't you start by just describing a bit of like anything you want to say about who you are and like what you built with Sof? <laughs> yeah, actually, this is Sangu Murugan uh, from. April Kohat of SOF. Uh, I'm from Chennai, Tamil Nadu. Actually, I done uh, one platform called Sangus, which um, from which we can uh, able to make the uh, make the Indian students employed, so that uh, no one um, be unemployed after that. So this was my project or my idea. So this is me here. Well, and I kind of want everybody to go around um, and just tell us. Take Sangu and I are here to help you guys. Tell us what you're most worried about when it comes to the pitch, and what are you most excited about? Like, what makes you feel like you you can't wait? Like, there's something you're looking forward to with it, but then something that you're kind of also like unsure about. It's good to identify yeah. this stuff. Yeah, actually, um, is this a question to me, ma'am? No, no, Sangu. <laughs> you can tell if you want to start and kick us off. Like, what were you nervous about, and what was like something you overcame during that? Yeah, actually, uh, I was nervous about um, the audience. Like, um, like uh, the audience are very new, right? Uh, we didn't uh, have some touch with them, uh, so I didn't uh, stick some rhythm. It is very tough for me to find the rhythm. of my sayings and their understandings so this is a thing which make me nervous yeah okay the rhythm of of like delivering it in a way that like captures them and okay okay um who can go next for us what are you most nervous about for the speech um i'll go next thanks neha so um Uh, I'm just worried that maybe I'll forget something in between, and I just mess up my whole speech. But yeah. I'm still um, excited to share uh, people, share with people as I know, because um, half of my speech is uh, like in my head already. So yeah. Um, yeah. I think I'll be able to do it. I'm just a teeny bit worried. You feel that the speech is in your head, and it's not like translated fully into um, like written form, ready to go, ready to be spoken out loud. Is that how you feel? It is. I um, whatever is in my head, I'll just put it on paper. So even if I forget, I have stuff in my head that can just like cover up. Yeah, I can kind of relate to that feeling of like, oh, there's so much more that I want to say. This isn't covering everything. Like, and that means you should just keep drafting and keep keep vomiting out more things that you want to say, and you'll compile it eventually. Michelle, if you can speak, I know you're in class, and I'm not sure what the Zoom teachers are doing right now, but like, if you can tell us what you're ner nervous for and what you're excited for, maybe you'll type. Um, maybe Nechal can go next. Yeah. So. what i'm like i've got same concerns as neha that like i'm going to mess it up or forget something yeah. also like i'm like i'm afraid like 
if i won't be able to find something when like people won't be able to connect to my problem like i have to phrase my pitch more properly okay and what i'm excited is to like meet new people and network more cool connecting to your problem is a really important thing to be worried about and i'm glad you are um because you want yeah you want to display everything that you care about and you also want it to be clear what you're solving i've heard some feedback in the past being like that kid was really engaging but i have no idea what he was solving and i didn't know what he was like what the ideal final product was so we want that clarity we also want that like charismatic engagement with the audience as well the mixture um and welcome to bumaka as well for um also a very powerful soul alum. I've invited two of my favorite soul alums today, Sangu and Bumaka, who I don't even know that you guys know each other either. Different cohorts. Sangu's from the April cohort. Bumaka is a recent graduate from the June cohort. Hey Bumaka. Um and Tanish, welcome back. <laughs> Just in general, we're really glad that you are um safe and sound and back with us. Yeah, hey. Hi. <laughs> Bumaka, do you want to go ahead and introduce yourself just briefly if you want about like your your what you built and like what you um what you gained from the speech? Um well, uh, my name is Bumaka Mehmed. I'm from Ujjain, India. I'm 16 and I'm the founder of uh, a non-profit called Exil. Um so I I'll um uh, I'll, I'll, show, I'll tell you the details later but uh, from the community I have gained a lot to be very honest I mean it has uh, changed me to be very frank it has changed me it has changed the way I think and uh, while writing this piece I looked at uh, the the only things which I thought I could explain to myself if I I mean I can't just explain it but uh, it just uh, it was really interesting that's all I can say Okay and how about like your speech development how do you feel like you found yourself and found your cuz Bumaka is one of the most creative people I've ever worked with in my entire life um and so there was so much happening with her like so much to capture in her speech so how did you how did you go about like formulating that perfect speech uh i mean uh, uh my for, like uh my most my strongest uh, figure of speech which i can uh, build up into my communication skills is imagery so i can just show people what i think and that is what i like that was the core of my speech i showed them a situation which i wanted to treat and then i told them the solutions which i were there to provide and i mean uh, all uh, all through the uh, the content writing process what i took into notice was that i had to put all that i had in my head so i did not leave yeah. any single topic that uh, i mean that i thought of right Yeah, you don't want to leave that part out. Great. Michelle, I again I figured wasn't able to speak right now but has said she's excited for the expo, scared of messing up and scared of not explaining enough about her problem or solution. Yeah. Legit fear. I get it for sure. Um and you guys have a full 3 to 5 minutes to be able to make sure you hit everything but you don't want to like drone the audience and make them bored. So uh, it's always good we're here to like balance both of those. And uh welcome to Shake Shake we're all just going around and sharing like what we're um excited and nervous for with the speech. Okay. Hello everyone. Should I say what I'm excited about and scared about? Yeah, sure. Yeah, please. Okay, so the thing I'm excited about is like giving my presentation like working hard for 3 months and now finally we're going to do what we're going to do. what yeah. you have to do and the thing i'm most worried about is like how properly i'm going to answer those questions which people are going to ask me like okay. i should be able to i should be able to answer them properly right for them to get a view of my business what my business is okay the questions that people are going to ask you so you're more worried about the breakout rooms maybe yeah, kind of yeah <laughs> yeah understandable so i would be too <laughs> So there's a couple elements that we set up for the speech that you guys have done on the platform but we also will talk a little bit about here and Sangu has been so kind and interesting he, part of part of his business Sangu's is to um create activities so he's created something of an activity for all of us um do you want to start with that Sangu No we can ma'am Okay 
so let me say the instructions sure yeah actually the listen the activity is uh, very simple um ma'am will let us in a breakout room of three each uh one should ask one question like uh, one should ask a question and um, say that question is what is your favorite color then the other two need to answer for that question like one say red and the other also say red then the question is valid you need to take that question into consideration but unfortunately if both of them um said uh same color uh, like um if both of them say the same color then th that question is valid but if both of them said different color then it is not valid likewise you need to ask different questions and find the common answer between you after getting four to five like um, common answers uh then the real uh, activity starts you need to frame a small story among that common answers whatever may be the story if the story is sensational or if the story is funny then it is more welcomed but uh, the main theme is you need to form a story from the common answers of your question yeah got it any doubt this is very interesting and do you want them to focus on one person's topic at a time like should we all focus on neha's um business and what kind of questions should we like who's going to dictate the questions yeah. basically actually the um, actually uh, i said in a breakout room there is three members right uh, in yeah. that three members you um one need to ask, ask a question you can choose whom ever need to ask that question and the question is um from anywhere the main point is to find the common answers like common things between the between you actually if one asks the question and the two need to answer it if the two answer the same uh, like uh, answer the same uh, answered in the same way whatever yeah. may be the question then that question get in gets valid so this is one type of this is one question so next you try next question so now uh, if that uh, question becomes invalid which means the answers of the two uh, students get different then ask a third question then ask fourth question likewise you need to frame um likewise you need to get four to five common answers then make a story small story um that story may be true or false uh, or maybe happened in your life yeah whatever may be but you need to frame a uh, frame a story from that common words like um the three members should uh, frame a story from that different stories then after that breakout room you need to tell the story to us that okay Clear. So this activity will be about anything. It doesn't have to be about their speeches particularly, right? This is just a kind of practice yeah. giving a story speech. Amazing. Okay, yeah, that's actually the first element of your speeches is a story. So this is just an exercise. Doesn't have to be about your projects um at all, everybody. This is just in general finding common ground through these questions and then formulating a story. A little bit of clarity sangu though on like what kind of story should be developed if you can. yeah the story can be of any type um if the story is uh, funny or sensational then it's well and good actually the theme of this activity is first need to um find like first need to ask a question which you can get common answers from okay. Okay. your audience so this is the main theme and the second theme is uh, you need to frame a story um within a quick uh, minutes uh from that from that from your audience view you need you need to find some story among that so this is a thing so they should formulate the story based on the questions that were like common ground yeah the common so, answers from which they get yeah i i have a doubt like where do the questions come from like we can ask any type of questions uh like um which is your uh, favorite drink like any questions which you, you can get we, common we, answers we, okay so we have to decide on our own questions yeah you need to decide on your own questions um if you decide the question which uh, which you are uh, remaining two students remaining two cohort get um which like um, if there is a less probability for a question to be come as a same answer then you shouldn't ask that question because uh, by this you need to ask n number of questions so that you didn't get a common answer from the two mouths so this is a thing yeah yeah okay clear perfect yeah i think that's it's, it's really fun i think it's cool and i think like you guys are trying to find questions that you think you'll have common ground on so you are getting kind of creative in the questions you ask each other i'll put the breakout rooms together three people in a room you said
ABCD. Okay, I have the room set um, and I will get you guys in there. How long Sangu should everybody take on this activity? Yeah, you want to give them? You say me the uh, time, ma'am. Like uh, how much we can give. I didn't know the entire session timing, right? Yeah, I think it will give seven minutes. Is that too yeah, short? Yeah, okay. Kind of speed, speed round here. Yeah, okay. we need to ask the audience only for this, like the students. Seven is is that seven minutes enough for you guys? How about ten? Okay. Thanks, Neha. Yeah, respect it. Cool. Yeah, the question is clear, right? The activity is clear, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right, sending you in. Bye.
I guess the boys aren't ready. They're just coming back now. Okay. Okay. I'm really sorry, mom. Were you saying something like the moment? I was saying, I, I was saying, Bunka, you're really good at like, I don't know, like facilitating, we call it, like leading groups of people. <laughs> it's awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Um, and we can play Sangu too for like this really creative activity. Like I like, I know that Sangu must be doing well, <laughs> the business itself. Because it's like, fun. like there's been a lot of joy in our group. Actually, we enjoyed a lot. Cool. This activity is um, working very much beautiful than I thought. I know. I think we just have like a, a, I guess like a really good group of students in this August August cohort. Nee Chow yeah, dropped sure. off somehow. I think. Oh, he's waiting. Yeah. Okay. Ah. And thanks, Bumakan and Sangu, for like showing yourselves too. <laughs> it feels nice yeah. to see you guys, see your faces. Um. All right. So, ladies first, like Avishi or Bumak or like Neha, who would like to share our story first? Um. Actually, I think I can go first. Okay. Like everyone can can get some view. Sure. Sure. Yeah. Okay. So the four keywords, like four common answers that we find that we found are actually in my room. There, there is uh, nature and Shaikh, and the third is me. So we found four common answers. The first one is Hindi language. The second is biryani. The third is juice. And the fourth is um, we are not interested in any shows. Like we are not interested in wasting any time like in shows. So these are the four things, four common answers we found. So my story is, um, there is one boy, okay. Um, he's um, studying in college. Um, the traveling hours from his own home to the college is nearly two and a half hours. He actually worked um, very hard in college and um, he is very interesting. Uh, like uh, he is very uh, hardworking boy. He didn't watch any stories. So the common word story, uh, like uh, he didn't watch any shows. It covered. Um, he didn't watch any uh, shows and working hard, working hard. is consistently learning many things. Okay, so he joined uh, one academy. Um, it is some academy, something. Uh, to learn new things okay we keep in that mind um, in that they will join they will grouply join and do some projects in that uh, he saw one hindi boy and he um hindi boy or girl yeah we keep it as hindi girl uh, he saw one hindi girl and he learned hindi from her and she to learn tamil from him so somehow uh, he managed to learn Hindi very, very much like uh, to good extent. Then, uh, like he usually drink uh, juice. Okay, uh, when he become tired, he usually drink juice. The, the reason behind he drinking juice is um, he did uh, he did have so much of money to eat biryani. When uh, he, he he walks to um, whenever he walks in a road, he see uh, someone. Mm, preparing biryani but he can't able to eat it mm, because due to lack of uh, fund in he is from a poor background so um, he used to prefer juice instead of biryani so he drinks juice and satisfy him as he ate biryani so at last um, he is a consistent learner he learned many many stuff and uh, he went to uh, he went to a placement um, in that placement um the company it is the company is more likely be in uh, delhi they asked him the questions the main important question the important question which they asked is do you know hindi or not uh, the boy told yes as he learned hindi from a student in the academy so he got a job and he settled in life and uh, after getting married uh, in that marriage function he uh, Supplied biryani to everyone. Uh, yeah, that's the story, end of the story. <laughs> no, that's yeah, really... that's it. I so love... the common words are covered: juice, biryani, Hindi. Not interested in any shows. Not interested in wasting time. Yeah. The last part was really good. Where he supplies biryani to everybody. <laughs> wow. Yes, I want to be a character in that story. <laughs> Very good. Actually, it is based on real story. The boy is uh, Sangumi, and the girl <laughs> is, I think, Raman, and the academy is oh! Esoya. 
and uh, <laughs> this is the character of me i didn't waste time I'm, and i am a consistent learner and uh, can we hear you speak a little see. hindi then yeah my ma'am can we, can we hear you speak a little hindi yeah no i didn't know that much i am learning some words by so maybe being... kelsey is a character in the story <laughs> Hello. <laughs> like I'm sure Sangu knows more Hindi than me. <laughs> no, 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 no. Kelsey knows. No, no. Kelsey knows Acha and Yar. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> About and some food. Um um cool. Really really good. Like and again we'll we'll hear your Hindi in a second. Um let's let the ladies go next. Is she out of If you'd like to Avishi I I definitely feel your um and enthusiasm in like <laughs> the tone of sharing the story so go ahead So first of all our common ground common things were spicy we love we love spicy food we like chocolates we hate people who touch like we don't like touching people and stuff and we don't like school So basically there are four kids like four different uh, yeah there are four kids and i guess that one one's bhumika one's michelle one's neha and one's me and then we all like chocolate so much that we secretly you know just take them from the fridge and put them in a backpacks and we go to school <laughs> and then we in school we all have like a youtube channel for pranking and stuff so in school we decide to prank people and like because we hate school and do, don't want to focus we do this stuff so after that michelle ditches us i'm sorry michelle i'm sorry michelle ditches us and then uh, we all want to get her back for ditching us so we do, we plan a prank uh, with spicy food so basically she gets a sandwich to school every day and we try to put the <laughs> we will try to put the red chili because we love spicy for food we try to put the red chili in michelle's sandwich and she doesn't come to know but apparently spicy doesn't suit michelle so mm. she gets really sick and we all go to the nurse and the nurse like always just gives a bag of ice though it has nothing to do with her getting her stomach sick but okay and then the teachers come to know and we all like get punishments for it because we were all in for the prank even though michelle did stuff right the teachers don't know the struggle <laughs> <laughs> so good like sangu we really love this activity we'll probably like you as a you know so facilitator here um it's a legendary activity we're going to use it again and it's really relevant to what we're about to do next which is more your speeches like the art of creating a really good speech is the art of taking all of these components that you really really are dying to say and making sure that you are laying it in a woven blanket of a speech that actually makes sense that actually takes the audience from feeling one way to being like on the edge of their seat then they feel relieved then they feel excited then they feel worried like you want to take them on this journey in your 3 minutes and you can especially important to incorporate everything that you've that you want to say so right now we're going to generate a lot of ideas of what we want to say and i'm thinking that we're going to do it I'm thinking that we're going to do it in our group chat just so you guys can all be typing at once and we can kind of see what each other want to say. I have several prompts about um what should go into that speech and I know it's already been um almost an hour. So I mean Babumaka and Sangu you guys are awesome like we love you here like you can like be a part of this and help formulate the speeches but you also like I know that like you guys study like crazy too so I don't like ever want to keep a student for too long. um so you can like make your choice as to whether you want to like help with this part uh as well um, um yeah i think i can stay for like 15 more minutes okay so with that being said bumka is there something you is there anything you want to give advice wise just straight from your heart to these this group about like the expo and the pitch and everything uh yeah so i mean i know most of you people you guys are like clearly one of like 
the most amazing people i've ever met you have your ambitions straight in your head you know your idea you know you should you just need to express your own self so just throw in whatever you have don't think twice you can have these butterflies in your stomach and this yeah. crazy feeling in your heart but just know that you know it you uh, like we are there to we are there to support you we are always there to support you and these people are there to, are there to ask questions they are there to support you too so just don't feel uh, worried or unnecessarily stressed up upon the idea so even if you mess up it's going to be fine there is no worries just be cool just be you yeah be you is a good, is a good point for sure um and sangu do you have extra like advice for everybody right now actually um the same thing uh, i am thinking of what uh, bhumika had told um stay as you and um whatever the things get go uh, like um, maybe in positive or in a negative direction chill don't panic and um, look at the situation and act and act accordingly i think um, i prepared a lot uh, to stay you um, to say you guys let's see that time suppose or not like i'm very interested in this uh, cohort ma'am like uh, i'll continue till the end let's see and i'll support okay. in this session <laughs> okay actually the main thing is i prepared a lot uh, uh i don't waste those preparations get into it. and i think um, these preparations will help this cohort a lot so i'll stay till then uh, <laughs> i think so too um okay you guys so like a couple of right now we just want to generate a lot of what we call story puzzle pieces like things that you might include in your speech um one of them being and i'll put this into the chat you guys can type into the chat or just say out loud since we are a smaller group and everything um like we want some sort of well we'll start with this some sort of story no actually i don't want to start with that um we want to ask the audience a question a lot of people start with that they ask the audience something that sometimes it's a rhetorical question sometimes it's a question that everybody is like just gets them to relate um to you and your topic some kind of question that might shock them um some kind of question that might engage them so i'll put this into the chat you guys can put your question there or somebody can like raise their hand in this zoom session and share the question that they might ask i've already heard neha's question in her speech that she sent me and it's really really good so i'll let neha talk about that if she wants to but just think about a question like that you that you know it's like a hook something you start with something you want to ask and get everybody thinking about before you start your speech My computer's loading, but I'm gonna. Um, anybody want to share like a question that they might ask their audience? right why is art important in business if you could change one thing about your community what would it be nice nice i mean michelle i like that visual of being like all right look around your community think about one thing that you feel like is just it's lousy okay neha do you want to share the question that you opened with in the speech you sent me And it's okay you guys don't have to stick to this stuff either like you can your speech is going to evolve and change a lot over the next like 5 days.
So the next one, and you guys can, I mean, some of this stuff is going to take longer to develop. And I, I know that I want you guys to keep all these pieces and end up formulating it. So, <laughs> and it has, has any of you want to try answering this? What has 4,000 eyes and 8,000 legs? And I'm going to give you guys some time to figure it out. Um, and in the middle of the speech, they're going to be like, ah, okay. So she asks definitely a hook question here, right? She's just trying to engage them and get them like, the more you can get your audience to be like, generating ideas, trying to come up with an answer that are really focused then. They're really focused on you when they're thinking. You want them to be thinking. You don't just want them to like sit back and zone out. Nice, Jake. You guys can read these out loud too, like uh, if you want to. So, and I would, um, nice, Pumaka. Pumaka knows the answer to Neha's um, topic here. Great, <laughs> and Avicii, cool. Shakes was what pro what does uh what do problems look like in real life to you? Um, good thing or bad thing? I would say it's a little bit general though. We want to make sure we, people can actually like picture what you want them to picture during that opening question. All right, next is what's tell us one sentence that you think will get your audience riled up about your problem like get them really worried get them feeling like oh my god this is so true i'm really i i'm scared now for this problem so one sentence that you feel like would get your audience riled up about your problem Nice. Neha's talking about innocent animals getting killed um, by many people don't care. Great. Nichal says that uh... <laughs> artists give up their one true ambition because they don't get enough support. So for both of you and Neha, I would give up, I would maybe even get people to picture one individual instance, like one individual artist that like artists that maybe really helped shape the world in some way like what if that artist had given up like what would the world look like or that kind of thing what if we didn't reward artists at all in our society like what would the world look like and so for Avishi, make your insecurities your strength is an amazing tagline like we like love it i love that it's in your logo already um instead of letting um it make you hate yourself and others so yeah this might not be a really big problem but it is um with that, I would almost like try to relate to the audience there and just be like, what's something you feel bad about yourself with? Some insecurity that you just can't seem to get over. Uh, I don't know, try to relate so that they can picture something in their own life. Shake has said, this generation has the highest number of teenagers who suffer from anxiety and overstress, which leads to other serious problems. Nice. It's true. We'd like numbers on it too, if we can like show how many more teens are de like stressed or depressed compared to 20, 30, 40 years ago. Nice. And Michelle, for you, what if we could learn how school relates to our careers? Would you pay attention? I really like that. I almost like that for like halfway through your speech as like a solution. Um, but I, it's, it's gotta be there somewhere. It's really good. The next one, you guys, is I want you to relate to your audience. Like, what do you want them to envision? Like, what kind of example do you want to share? Or like, a, a lot of times you ask them a question, like for Avishi, a bit of like, you know, last time that you, um, an insecurity of yours like came out in a friendship or just get them to picture something in their own life. Get them, how do you want to relate to your audience? And Neha, I'd like you to share this story if you could. Yeah. 
So um, it's, it's about uh, this beagle um, who suffered like severe arthritis and uh, her owners couldn't, um, they, they had all the time to take her to the hospital, but then they waited until it get, it got like really worse. Okay. And uh, she couldn't walk at all. And uh, since she couldn't climb up the stairs to the bed, they just let her in the backyard to just rot there. Wow. And uh, she just collapsed and she she couldn't walk. So she peed all over herself uh, and the moisture uh, started uh, getting maggots to grow on her. And uh, when the rescue found her, uh, it was it was actually too late, but uh, she managed to survive like another month. But yeah. Wow. I think that's a great story to share. Um, and it's really detailed. It's good in that sense. We can connect it to a bigger theme of like everything else of like pet neglect and people being um, scared of pets as well. Love you too, Bumika. Oh, I don't know if you've already left. Just saw your message. Okay. How about you, Avishi? Do you have a relatable like way that you want to um, talk to the audience and kind of relate with them about your, get them to think about themselves and their own experiences that you would solve for them? For me, like my insecurities have, I think it's always been my uh, skin, I guess. Not like yeah. the color wise, but like I have a very scary skin because like I, if I get hurt like a little bit also, then there'll be a scar left. So because of that, I've got like many scars and stuff. I had this allergic skin on like my hands and stuff. So I have this entire thing on my arm on my like a little bit, but now it's faded and stuff. But okay. yeah, I was very like, I was not, yeah, I was quite insecure about that when it started happening and stuff. I used to cover it and like wear jackets the entire time and stuff. But then now it's like quite over and then. I've started learning that they're not that bad. I just feel like they're bad, but then other people, they don't even notice that. Like, hmm. they don't, yeah. I have like, my friends not judge me that way. And they like, you know, they're friends with me because of who I am, because of my personality and not because of how I look, I guess, or how many scars I have. Yeah. But because of how like cool, and like funny or like whatever, how yeah. cheerful I am in like my personality wise, that's why. That's an awesome story to bring up. And what would be like your overall like point or relation to the audience with I that? I guess like personality matters and looks don't matter. So okay. yeah. And then like this website, like whatever my uh, business like wonder is about if they're going through something and like not just this it's about everything like they need advice on people and like because that that also I've gone through I've also gone through losing friends and recently I told you about that yeah yeah so I feel like even though people put you down and like you know be like okay I cannot be a friend because of this you shouldn't feel bad about yourself don't make it like don't make an insecurity and stuff I like those, like there's a lot that you can relate to with people, like telling, being vulnerable and telling something about yourself, but then also asking the audience to think about a time that some insecurity came up, some friend um, like fight came up. You can, a lot of people will be able to think of something really quickly in their head and then they're bound to care and be more focused and know that this helps them. So I do like that. Yeah, definitely. Uh, Shake, how about you? Do you have some way that you really want to get your audience, like relate to them, some either a story or something that um, gets them to think about themselves and their own uh, issues? So basically, I'll, mostly I'm going to say my story, like uh, how I uh, uh, suffer from things like emotions and all sorts of stuff, and like then how uh, I was able to help myself and get through with all the things I did. So like that. I hope, yeah, it, I hope it goes there. <laughs> yeah. All the things that you've gone through too. Um, 
I haven't looked at your notes yet that you sent like about an hour ago. So I will have to, but um, yeah, the more specific you can get with that, the more people, like people can visualize that, let them visualize that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And Nechal, do you want to share like how you're going to relate to your audience? Yeah, uh, maybe I can share the story of my friend uh, who like is like his father didn't support his art and he had to he pushed it pushed him into economics yeah. and but like after like like he got to know that he made like another person hired like hired Megley Ward like hired him to make an advertisement for his for their for their boot camp yeah so that really like that was the point that his father realized that it was like his art can really be something that's a beautiful like hopeful story too where so like maybe that again maybe that comes middle of the speech you kind of like disturb us with the facts that like artists are shut down by like parents and conventions and things like that or conventional living yeah um, yeah. That's a really good personal story. And then like showing the hope in that. And that also kind of is there to give information about how Megley works. So that's that's great that it kind of like does both. So next, you guys, this might be somewhere in your speech. It might not, the order is going to be a little bit up to you, obviously. But what, describe how horrendous the world will look if your problem isn't solved. How do you just, this doesn't have to be a part of the speech, but just give me a quick description as how nasty and terrible the world will get in 5, 10, 20, 30 years if this problem isn't addressed right now. What's going to happen next? So take a minute and think on type, or you guys will each share out loud if you want. I think if it like if you really think about this problem as a major way to affect the world, it will like take down society as a as a whole, because like yeah. like art is something that can be celebrated, and like something that people need to see. Like if there is more art, there is more like will in people. Like like even art, like to me, it's like watching movies or anything. Sometimes like shape my mind and like make me passionate about something heck yeah you're making me feel like to you want to relate to the audience member who thinks that they don't care about art but also just know that art is like low-key helping them get through the day like the the music or the shows or like the visual of the world around them is like yeah so yeah so like if if this problem isn't solved it will only take the world to a dark place with no joy and like hmm. yeah right. i think that's the big picture here and now if artists are not recognized, then like they won't, um, then we'll just be supporting like the wrong people. And I think to another angle for you, Nichal, is the whole like advertising angle. Like if like right now there's a lot of corruption in advertisement and a lot of trying to manipulate people and not being like clear and your product really helps business owners like be their genuine self. So kind of just getting us riled up about like the advertising a little bit too and sharing how this is a much better way of going about marketing people yeah maybe i can like take inspiration from that article i like there was a really good article on like how is marketing shaping our minds in in a bad way like it yeah. was called the illusory truth effect oh yeah yeah i, I even sent you that i think mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that's yeah, that'd so, be great especially yeah. to quote an article is good too so neha do you want to go you had written something here Okay, okay. Uh, should I? Yeah. Oh, go ahead, Abhijit. Yeah. Uh, so I feel like, you know, people have, uh, everybody's like, everybody's insecurities are called out and, you know, they feel, they start like feeling insecure and stuff. They won't voice out their opinions much. And mm. everybody would, you know, prefer to stay indoors and not other, not meet other people, not socialize. And sure. they'll just, and then because it could get so much worse, so much worse, they, they would get sus suicidal thoughts about it. And I don't know. It, I mean, it really depends. I'm not saying everybody would, but then uh, people, like some of, some people might get, uh, 
start getting societal thoughts about it. Uh, there could be more suicides and stuff. People would harm themselves and, you know, just try to be that perfect and like match the standard. Definitely. Anybody want to add to Avishis? I feel like there's there's so much here, actually. Yeah, what, conflict what? resolution in teenagers is a major problem, I think. Yeah. Like, uh, even I would like to say, like, when you when you have a lot of insecurities, you think a lot, and while thinking a lot, you get uh, social anxiety. You don't meet people. You don't want to talk to others. You get uh, different kind of thoughts, and yeah, like she said, even it leads to suicidal thoughts also. Yeah, it really takes us to a dark place, and like, and like, it sees like productivity ceases in our life, and. Mm-hmm. We yeah yeah like uh, we lose we lack motivation we lose motivation at all because like we there won't be nothing to do for no, it won't be nothing to do like even if it's there also we we're like why should we do it? Hmm. You start overthinking. Kind of yeah, you start that's overthinking it. and then you're like just you just don't want to do anything. Like exactly yeah. what you said, lack of motivation, and then you just you know just want to be alone and then just isolate yourself or something. Yeah, yeah, and uh, uh, sometimes due to our overthinking, we tend to do the stuff we hate the most. We make wrong decisions because of overthinking. Yeah. Sometimes we make wrong decisions. Like you're not supposed to think that much about something, but then we end up, you know, making the wrong decision even after thinking about it about it so much. Yeah, we start overeating. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. yeah, that is that's that is also a thing. Hope the sugar challenge is going well, Nichal. Um, but no, this is really great that you guys are all like you have so much to add to each other's. I think that there's like the big picture too, as to like if people are not interacting with each other, like what does that look like for our world? In the, and I think a lot of people are kind of worried about that right now with the fact that you can just like leave a friendship or like say mean things over text and stuff like that. I wrote all this down. This is really good stuff. Thank you both for adding to Avishis. Um, I'm gonna read Michelle's as well. Like you should aim for academic success. If not, you'll end up in low paying jobs and you'll soon be replaced by uh, by robots and then you'll be out of a job and poor. So um, I like that. And I like that you're speaking to one individual in that sense. Um, and I think we should add to about, about like the overall, if the same people are getting successful jobs and then other people are not not having being able to like excel in the like uh, social class system, which is what Michelle's focus is like in the United States. Um, I think there's like an overall issue with that, with who's in power. So that can be like another angle. Like it's good to be able to take like that personal, I'm speaking directly to you, but then also saying the overall madness, like terrible things is gonna happen for all of us as a society. Um, so both of those can be brought So really good. The very, very last one that um, we want, I'm sorry, there's two more actually. I want you guys to explain just from your hearts right now, how does the product work? Like if you were to walk somebody through how, what do you want to say about your product to the audience in the speech? You can type for a hot second. So this is where you're like, yeah, sorry, I'm just going to say, this is where you like, you get them so worried. You got them so worried. They're like, crap, this is actually really bad. I didn't realize that this was such an issue. I didn't think of it this much. And then you like swoop in as the hero with Megley telling how like all of the things I just got you worried about, hey, I'm about to like save the day with my company. So that's like how we set, you can set things up a little bit. Go ahead now, Nichal, I'm sorry. Oh, it's okay. So like Megley basically connects artists with businesses and help facilitating in the process to make advertisement and to help the business grow. And mutually benefiting art, uh, artists, so like even marketing their art through the businesses. Okay. <laughs> Sangu said, I'm scared on seeing Michelle's idea because um, it's, it's a bit similar to his. Like you guys might be competitors at some point. So, but that's like a good thing. You should collaborate now that you're like friends. Yeah, good, good job, Nichal. You, I think you've hit a lot of it. I'd also like walk, like walk people through. Be like, all right. So let's say you are a business owner. Let's say you want to advertise, and you kind of that's kind of how people connect more if you walk them through 
what they would do um, if they were using it. Um, so let's go to Neha. Neha, do you want to like tell us or, or type if you've been typing about how do you want to explain how it works? We'll come back to you if like, okay, Wi-Fi is so bad right now. She says, um, let's let Avishi go. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so when like, you know, people who are just struggling with something, they come to Wonder, they like come to the Wonder's website and there'll be like, a, I mean, it's written like what Wonder is about and then they can chat with us like personally, like it's not going to be shown to anybody. It's not going to be public. It's just going to be private. So like people who are insecure, not feeling good, or like just have something they're going through, they can come and talk to us personally and then, you know, feel better about everything what's going on and get into a better place and get advice on stuff like related to how, you know, like the relationship between two people, like friends and all. Awesome. And then there's a blog page so where there they could, you know, write their opinions on stuff that will be related to the podcast. So I'll like write a topic and th there'll be a topic and my opinion on it. And then people could share their opinion on it and like a conversation, start a conversation and stuff. Beautiful. That's a really unique selling point that you should emphasize as like how you're different from other like um, self-help places. The fact that you have this podcast that comes pretty regularly and you are able to like address people's concerns in the podcast, generate more like thoughts from people because of the podcast. So like walk, walk them through that process is pretty good. And always, I think always have like two specific things. When you say stuff that we like, you know, relationship problems to help you with, maybe have two examples like already in your head to like, just so people can be very clear. Like, let's say you're dealing with this you can come and get advice. Let's say you're dealing with this, you can come get advice. People like that real life example that they can picture in their head. Yeah, I, I actually, I would like to add to that. Hmm. Like, uh, I saw something very similar to Wonder uh, about an year ago on Instagram. Okay. So like, it was just an outlet for people to like get their problems out. Nice. So, Send the competitor like, to yeah. yeah, there was an open form. So like whoever volunteers will get assigned like with people. So I think that that's an approach she could follow. But also the main thing of like that organization was like what they took pride in like that. They didn't give much advice, but like they thought like the people struggling with mental health problems, the main thing they like suffer is like suffer with is like some people don't listen so like uh many times it can be like it can be it can look bad if somebody give it gives advice if we talk like talk our heart out to somebody so yeah. like just listening to somebody's problem is a really big deal and like help a person get through a problem so like in like i'm talking about a specific organization like but yeah i like I, I can maybe try to find it, but that's an approach she could she could try. Lovely. Yeah, so it's like not I'm just not gonna that's why I changed the thing. That's why I changed it to private to chat because I was talking to one of my friends and when I was talking to her about what like some problem like about her insecurity and stuff, I felt like it would be better if I, you know, listen like listen to her and just made her feel better by yeah. not saying much but then like complimenting her a little bit or just you know being a little bit supportive so that's why i changed it to chatting like you know personal chatting and stuff so there they can be like you know they can just tell us what they're going through and we can you know support them like more than you know help them with advices and stuff it's more about supporting them and making them feel better Yes. Shake, do you want to add 
and about yourself or about Avishis? I know that you both like have such coordination with the two ideas. I'll let you get sound in some way, but um, okay, I can't talk right now, got it. Last one is, actually this might be the second to last one, but this is a huge thing that on good Sonny, he won his batch in March. Um, so Sangu, he'll be your competition. Oh, by the way, you guys, if you win this expo, Sangu will be your competitor in the annuals. So just know that I should have clarified that or made that a little bit more um, real to you. But basically Angud's point is that you wanna address the audience doubts before they even have to say their doubts. This can come with the explanation of your product itself, but just say like, oh, are you worried that my product will be blah, blah, blah? Are you worried that your confidentiality will be at risk? Are you worried that it won't work? You address anything that you think they're going to be worried about. So right now, just real quickly, tell us what you think doubts, certain doubts your audience might have about, um, about your, about how it works or questions that they might have, things that you might think that they're going to be unclear about. Oops. Put them at ease. Um, can I? Yeah, yeah. So I guess uh, the first thing would be confidential, uh, confident, confidentiality. Oh my God, sorry. Yeah. So it would uh, be like, you know, how is it, is the information or is the, you know, whatever they're going through going to be put somewhere else or, you know, confident, it's not going to be confidential or something. Yeah. And I guess they would also be worried about how, expertise the people would be like sure. how they don't want like a very uh amateur person get talking to them and you know just giving advice which may not work most of the time so i feel like they would be worried about how well the uh you know how well it would work how well they would you know, be able to use that advice or feel better, like, yeah. That's great. And that's actually like bringing that up, you have the confidence to like put them at ease with both of those topics. It also helps you explain your product too. To be like, oh, are you worried about this? Well, Wonder does this. <laughs> like, that's a great way to explain how Wonder works. And those yeah. are like good unique selling points that you have there too. Um, yeah. Like trusting the, the worthiness and the confidentiality thing is I've seen be really, really, really important to you, Avishi, as like something you're adamant about. So like emphasize that. Like they sh they see if you're like you're there, you know, relate to them on a customer level, be like, yeah, I wouldn't want that either. That's why I built it this way. And that's why it works this way. And that's a really cool way to like bond with your customers in yeah. that sense. I mean, Great. I feel like when I made Wonder, it was for like something I was finding for myself, but I couldn't yes. find. So that's basically what like I want for people, people who are like me and like was finding something like this and they couldn't find it. But yeah. now they have something. Right. So just emphasize that excitement that you have for it too. Like that, that'll definitely come through. Um, it's like, yeah, I've been searching for this too. <laughs> Good thing I made this for all of us. <laughs> Great. Anybody else want to go? We're going to leave in about like two minutes. So I'm sorry to like, um, I'll read Michelle's out. And then if anybody else wants to like respond, but she, Michelle says, you may be thinking, how will I get this information? Um, at our company, we want to have interactive videos. And so I don't even never say we want to have, say you have, we have interactive videos and posts to get you the information. Say goodbye to long, luring lectures and hello to interactive posts and videos. Nice. Yes. Great. Even like playing off of a bit of like that short snippet of information that we seem to absorb information on via like social media. Nate, Charlie, did you want it to add anything? I'm just gonna go yeah, into the lab. Yeah, like <laughs> people don't trust, like people like are or like nowadays are getting more aware of their well-being and about the social media's presence. So I would like to address that how is Megli different from advertisement companies? Nice. Definitely. 
That's going to be a really like strong way. Like that's actually an important thing that we learn about positioning your idea. Sometimes people are like, what is this idea? Where does it come from? Sometimes you have to show them something that is comparable, right? Like we, if we compare ourselves to Coursera or to like, not we, that we're not that we compare ourselves to, to buy shoes, but like, you know, people that's, that's what they know. Like they Megley is something totally new. They've never heard of anything like it. So you might have to like do just to position yourself against something that's, um, that the audience already knows about. Yeah. Last one is a really fun one, you guys. We're going to leave you on this. This is what you want to leave your audience with as well. You don't have to. Like I've seen students like go in crazy orders and do amazing things. But something is, what does this, like with Megley, with Wonder, what does this amazing world look like? What does the world look like with your product in it? Get them excited. Like I would love to talk to you about how I think the world could look in 30 years if, you know, with School of Future around and the, you know, what you guys are going to look like in 30 years, you know? So like, what does the world look like because your product is in it? If anybody wants to go first, you guys can just like clearly just say it out. I think more culturally enhanced. Okay. Nice. Right. And like, get us excited for that. Like I'm walking around and I get to see this, like the advertisements on my phone are not like whatever they're getting me um, to see art and like find the right business that works for me. I know that a lot of us can't speak right now, um, but does anybody else want to go? You guys can just think about this at, um, as well as you craft your speech tonight. I feel mm -hmm. like everybody will be like, like, I feel like there will be more confident people and more people voicing out their opinions mm -hmm. and being more uh, interactive, I guess, with what's going on around. Yeah. They'll be more aware, I guess, and they'll be, they should be like, uh, non judge no, like they shouldn't be judging people. Yeah. No, that's good. That's really good. And their own personal in like insecurities are kind of gone too. And how that helps us as a larger community when people don't have that. Yeah, less judgment is great. Right, like imagine a world where you can like walk around and feel like that. Cool. I'm gonna read, um, they have said, every family is going to have a pet and the world will be a happy place. Nice, yeah. We'll get more specific with it a little bit uh, later. And then with Michelle's future for you, the work, uh, the work would be in a better place. Everyone is succeeding at their own pace and with their own ideal future for them. So join a future for you to get you in on the fun. Nice, the fun world, got it. Cool, you guys. I'm gonna save all these like pieces that you have here so that when you are sending me, like I'm telling you right now, Sangu knows this too, almost, I would just say actually every sofa, their first speech is like kind of a mess, <laughs> like your first draft. So you're gonna be ending up doing about three, four or five of these over the next couple of days, as many as it takes. So um, do send me like a pitch practice as soon as you can, like your first draft, I'll give feedback um, and we'll utilize everything that you've just mentioned today here um, in your speech. We'll make sure that we, we wanna include everything if possible. So that's like a really important element. Any last words from you Sangu? Actually, I prepared a lot and uh, ending up in saying some few words. Um, yeah. uh, the, the, those few words are first, trust in you. Uh, keep trust in you. Like um, when I am uh, in my batch uh, at the time of my pitch, um, I didn't have this much trust on me. Uh, whether I, mm, I doubted myself, like uh, how I going to pitch in uh, the session like that. And obviously, as a result of this fear, um, I will go in like uh, I'm not sati satisfied in my pitch. But as you see now, uh, I'm very much um, trust in. Uh, I had very much trust in me as I am alumni of a software and I had uh, hosted some more sessions and give some more uh, speeches. Like um, the trust matters. Um, even I'm getting prepared. Um, to this uh, session, uh, I told to my sis that uh, I'm going to rock in this session. So that trust matters. Uh, how you trust in you, that matters. That will be applied in your uh, circle of uh, influence. So trust you guys, you will do good. Cool. Yeah, trust going in many directions. Very good. 
thanks so much, Sangu. Like you're so good at facilitating this. Like I'm in awe. It's going to be something that I want to do with more students and you might be leading it. Um, really, really loved having you guys like host stuff. A lot of students are much better at facilitating sessions than me. And I know this, and I'm very excited for you guys to rock the School of Future uh, mentor stuff like this uh, in the future. Anyways, um, <laughs> any last remarks from anybody else? I know we've been here for about an hour and a half. So I do like apologize that it's over, but I think that you guys have a lot of like juice for your speeches. Yeah, I'm just really excited for the expo and also really worried, worried about my speech pitch. Okay. So I think I'm, I will just go right into like working on it. Yeah, I think send me like, you can like even ask Sangu. Sangu sent me a 15 minute speech, his first one. And we both just like listened to it, extracted the best parts and then rearranged it. It's like building something and you want it to be concise at the end of the day, but you want to make sure you cover everything. So do that, NHL. You can send me a long thing. Um, I got time. It's the day is early. It's 11 a.m. Great, you guys. I'm going to close it here. But like, like I said, I've kept all your little pieces that you mentioned and we'll craft these speeches really, really nicely. Send me your first draft, ideally tonight. If, and Neha already has, Sheikh has typed his up. So that's good. And Michelle and I are in the same time zone. So we'll be, we got time together tonight. These words from Kelsey, Kelsey I'm bringing back my memories in the April batch. All right, you guys, best of luck. And Sangu will be there to support and also scope out his competition. So it sounds good. Um, see you on your like next calls with me, okay? Bye. Bye. Yeah, bye. All the best. Bye.